Good morning. Welcome to the Darth Grumpy Dad Twitch stream. <clears throat> now this uh, this morning is what I'm going to do is I'm going to level this barbarian from 1 to 70 and I'm going to start working on uh, the uh, waste build. It's... <sighs> Holy cow. It is technically called the Wrath of the Waste Build. And it's going to be the Whirlwind Rend version of it. Now, I'm going to, again, I'm starting from uh, 1, going to 70, game settings, adventure mode, act 1. I'm going to start on Torment 6. Now, because I got a few of these to do, I took the time to... Uh, make up a whole bunch of rank 25 gems of ease and made various gear pieces that I could use to help the level like the last four characters I have to level up so I can do uh, how to's little little uh, reviews of the Hedrick's gift armor sets for each class um, now starting with the level one barb First thing I want to do is I want to gamble for rings because there's a pretty good chance of getting a band of might. Uh, it, all right, and now this band of might, if we take a look at it, it's only level 16, it's not a level 70, so it's not going to be, I mean. It's not something we're, you know, want to wear with our level 70 kit. And some people have said that you can reforge it and make it level 70. But I've also heard that that's not true. And I, I just, uh, so I'm just going to extract that band of might, put it right in my cube, so I can equip it on the powers. Now I'm going to look at, uh, I'm going to look at the, now, you can look at max roll to see what else people are using on the build. Or, since we're playing on Xbox, you can go to Greater Rifts, Wrath of the Waste build. Because you can look at each separate. See Legacy of Raycor. Overall, six pieces. You just hit the right trigger to look for various sets. Now, Wrath of the Waste is the beginner set. Somebody's run a 137 with it, which isn't bad. You know, 140 is probably top for this build. It's an A-class build, so... And they're running Little Rogue and Slander, but that's probably not what I'm going to run to start with. I'm probably going to run uh, the Bull Cathos set, because the Bull Cathos set generates fury. And it's going to be easier for to get your set going and and do various stuff with that versus... Yeah. Little Rogue and Slanderer. I'm going to look at the cube. So they have Obsidian Ring the Zodiac, Mantle of Channeling, and Ambo's Pride. Right? And I'm pretty sure Ambo's Pride is a one-handed weapon. So let's see. Uh, let's looking. Legendary Mighty Weapon. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a one-handed sword. So all the all the swords I'm going to be using are one-handed mighty weapon swords. So now I've got my and we'll do mantles of channeling. So now we have that set already, and then I'm going to go to weapons. Go over here to Mighty Weapons, right? It's it's the big hammer-looking thing in between the staves and the and the uh, um, scythe. And the top one, Sovereign Limb Cleaver. And I'm going to make about ten of those. Now I also have an extra right 25 Gemma V so that if I get both the weapons I need right away... I can put that gem of ease, use it to remove the the uh, um, level requirements down to one, 
and I have a gem of ease that I can just put in the other one to use for the extra extra um, XP generation while I'm leveling the character up. We'll get into that. I've, I have a plan. I have a plan. Well, there's a few of these, and we're going to come over here to the cube. See how many of these I can upgrade from rare to legendary. Ambo's pride right there. That's going directly in the cube. So. Now already. I've got bandamite. Which I'm sure this build uses. I, I, I can't even. Can't imagine a a bar build not using bandamite. Yeah, bandamite. Except they're wearing it. Like if we, I'll bet if I if I went back into the leaderboards, Greater Rift, Barbarian, and look, Convention of Elements, bandamite. See, now they're wearing it because they're wearing you're wearing the whole set, and they put that obsidian ring in in the cube because it doesn't it doesn't have as many stats on it the the band of might have is more of a stat stick than the obsidian ring but like i said you know early on get yeah, you know it's you can get a level 16 one really easy but you might as well just put it in the cube so you can get the full 80 percent damage reduction that you get out of it right Let's keep uh, let's keep upgrading these. Oathkeeper, blade of the warlord, fjord cutter. Now I know that Ramasauri one. I think that just went by. I think you need that. Uh, there's one of the ones I need. There's bull cathos. See if we look at this fury generation for the two set piece. Remorseless. Uh, Wrath of the Berserker, Call of Ancients. Yeah, that's for the Hoda build. You do use that on the Hoda build, which is an S class build for the uh, Barb. And there's my other Bull Cathos. Beginner's weapon I'm going to need. All right, all right. I was debating on it. Like, I'm only doing one of these. That's, so let's... All right. So, let's go, and then I'm going to go grab... Angelic Crucible, so I can get a sanctified power on one. I'm going to grab my Ramadala Ding Dong, so I can put sockets on them. I am going to grab... Should have two Gem of E's in here. There we go. One rank 25. One 111. And then I'm also going to grab the other weapons that I've drop to rank one now i happen to have these these crusader boots which have strength on them which is why i use them because then i'll have some strength added into the build for the barb and the crusader the pants i just went most everything else has intelligence on it because like most of the stuff i've run with there we go i went with pox folds because it creates de weapon damage when three or more enemies are within 12 yards, you release a vile stench that deals 522 weapon damage is poison every second for five seconds to enemies within 15 yards. So just a damage crater for, you know. And then I leveled, I de-leveled actually a witching hour because they come with critical hit damage. Right? And it's something I can use on every every character regardless and you know all right and then i oh these gloves of worship right so oh gosh. 
so I can get Shrine and Fax less for 10 minutes because I'm going to, you know, I'm going to level these guys up by jumping into a Nephilim Rift. And there should be quite a few Shrines and Pylons. And then Shoulders. I want Spalders of Zachra that I, I... Now, all these ones, you see, they're, they're say, they say level one. This because I used a, a rank 25 gem of ease. And I'll show you how to do that. And I, I brought them down to level one. I removed the level requirements on it. And then I got an Aquil Curus, right? So, while above 94% primary resource, all damage taken is reduced to 50%. And then, what do we got here? I... Alaric's crown for XP because I'll put a big ruby in that bad boy. I got a Traveler's Pledge. Um, I forgot what I used here. Oh, goodness. Come here, my little one. Are we fighting with Big Brother? Yeah. You go tell him. Excuse me a minute. Love the grandbabies, but when they're hitting each other with toys, it's it's not cool. All right, and then what else do we got here? And then I should have a cup of throws. Well, crud. I was fairly certain. Uh, oh, well. Ah, Leorit Signet, that's at least one ring. Well, I may have to just gamble for some more rings. So I'll have a legendary ring to put on. Just where I'd done a... Hmm. We'll go with that. I could put a socket on that pretty easy, that Hellfire Ring. All right. So, oop. Gems. I'm going to need... Well, I don't have very many of those made, do I? I'm going to need four more of those. I do my best to get everything ready before I do these, but I do fail to do that on, you know, <laughs> I get other things going on. Put in a big ruby in that for 
and then two there. Now, the reason I put a ruby in that is because rubies in your helm give you extra XP. Lorix Crownius increase the effect of any gem socketed into this item by 100%. This effect does not apply to legendary gems. So I put a big ruby in there, and now I get 82% bonus experience. Right? And the gems, we need legendary gems for this whirlwind build we're going to be doing is going to be Bane of the Trapped. Ah. Bane of the Stricken. And Tegook. Then let's go over here and get... Uh, I don't believe I forgot to, uh, not going to get rid of that. Uh, I tell you to <laughs> don't believe I forgot to take the level requirements off of a compass rose. I've been working on this stuff off and on since Friday. Been pretty busy, so I'm, I'm not surprised I forgot. Are you picking up the room in there, little fellers? You picking that room up? Put the toys away. Oh, Jesus Christ. All I need is a socket. Just a socket. Just a lowly little socket. Hello. Hello, my little man. Are you helping brother pick up in there? You better be helping brother pick up, little Mr. Two-Year-Old Tyrant. There it is. Now, we'll equip our legendary gems. Okay, now let's see, the sanctified power we need is hitting enemies generate stacks of Tempest Rhythm. Alrighty, put those on, put those on, it's gonna, this is gonna be kind of a clown suit. I went with strong arm bracers because the enemies hit with by knockback suffered 27% increased damage. All right, and then the Hellfire Ring and the Laoric Signet gives. Where the heck is it? Oh, there it is. 23% bonus experience. All right, so we're at like 100% bonus XP already. And I know one of the pieces I chose, the, ah, the Spalders of Zachara, 240 XP experience per kill was on it. That's why, like, I, I was a toss-up between these and Mantles of Channeling. All right. Okay, so... Pop that. Oh, yeah, that's right. I. Oops. Kool Aid. So I can break through Waller's walls when I'm taking damage. Just hit A and equip. That's how, that's how you equip your, your potions. Like, I've seen a bunch of people ask that on the Facebook page lately. How do you equip a potion? Well, you just click A on it, and it says equipped, and it's equipped. But that doesn't, you know, and it, then when you're salvaging stuff, 
it won't show up in the salvage. But when you're putting stuff back in your in your stash, it does show up there, and it's really easy to put it back. Hit just hit A and put it back in the stash, and then it's unequipped, right? All right, let's grab some crucibles. And let's put it on the warrior. Warrior's blood. Let's see what we got. Hammer of Ancients. Not the one we want. Try this again. Getting in when it's jet. There we go. Stacks of Tempest Rhythm. Um, I don't think this has a socket on it. Oh, neither one of these do. So now and then I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to go down to... Remove level requirements. I'm going to put that Bolcatho Solemn Vow in the cube. I'm going to take that level rank 25 gem of ease, put it in the cube, and now it is a rank one, level one weapon that I can equip. I'm going to take my other gem of ease. And I'm going to put it in that weapon. Oh, I, and now that removes the level requirements while that gem is in it. And it gives us 6,000 experience per kill. Per, per monster kill, right? So it's going to be huge for leveling. Um, and I need... Get that out. That'll go in our other weapon. For the crit, crit hit damage. Now see we're already at 200,000 damage. Which is plenty for doing T6, T7. Let's put, let's see what we got. Those go back in the cube. That goes back in the cube. Okay, still says we're packing three items. Okay, we'll go over here to this guy, we'll go to sell, and we'll sell those craptastic weapons he came with. And then, I don't think I brought anything to go on the Templar or the Scoundrel. I got a bunch, probably got a bunch of stuff I could put on the Scoundrel. Scoundrel grants crit hits and... And Templar grants healing. Yeah. Crit hits healing. Crit hits healing. You know, even though you're probably supposed to run with the Enchantress because she grants cooldowns, right? Since he since he's a strength character, also I can just put stuff on. Him. Now Right now, the only, all I got is that. Not even any runes or anything on it. We got our ammo prize for what, so we're all set up for whirlwind once we start. Oh, I almost forgot that too. Since this is, well, this is a secondary character for me. This is probably, you know, and this is anybody doing secondary characters. Don't forget to do your Paragon. If you're going to be doing this with other people in the lobby, you might want to take the area damage out. It's It's been known to cause lag on console systems. But playing on your own, on your own, I mean, it shouldn't lag too bad on you. In your own lobby, especially if you are hardwired to your router with an Ethernet cable.
Now, I don't really run a lot of barbs, so I'm just going to go with about 200. And vitality. And then I'll just put the rest in strength. Now that puts us at over 5,000 damage already. A whole ton of health, right? From all that, all that intelligence. Like most of these pieces came off my wizard. They dropped from my wiz, right? So they've got intelligence on it. That intelligence becomes resist all. That's why his, why his, why his shield's armor so high. And we've got 5 million life on this bad boy. Somehow out of something. <laughs> So, now we're just going to jump into a regular Nephi Rift. And start going. There's level 16. Now at this point, I believe 34. If you wanted, you could go back to town and you could make uh, the level 20-something... All right. Oh, and we hear the horn. We've got a nemesis on the way. Face the Sarge Jeffe, who's that? Okay, now I'm gonna pull off here and start setting some of my my skills. Die bug. Generally speaking. I like Whirlwind on the A button. And this it's suggesting Whirlwind Bloodbath. The heck? Oh, Ren. That's on Ren, not Whirlwind. Excuse me. Where's Whirlwind? There it is. Whirlwind. Wind shear. All right, right trigger is going to be something else I hit a lot. Uh, let's see, ground stomp, wrenching smash. X will be something else I want to hit a lot. Like Rend, I don't think you, I don't, I think Rend gets plied automatic. like on the Whirlwind build, it gets plied automatically. So it's not something, it's going to be like you hit it and forget it. Right? It's not something you're going to have to hit very often. So I'm like, I'm going to put Rend... Oh, don't have it yet. So I'm going to put that on the RB. Because I know some, something in your build will automatically apply rend for you. <clears throat> oh, it's Ambo's Pride. Attacking with Whirlwind applies rent. So Ambo's Pride in your cube automatically applies rent for you. You just need to have rend on your skill bar with the specific rune. Otherwise, it's an unruned rend. Right? 
and then Battle Rage. Let's put that on X. Swords to Plowshares. Winston Churchill said that, I believe, in World War II. Um, ancient Spear. Wrath of the Berserker. That on B. Insanity. The last one it's got. Is ancient spear they're calling for, and I'm not sure I even want that. I'm, you know, ancient spears, I and mean, it's it's usable, like it drags guys close to you, right? Ancient spear, right? Throw. A, Spear that pierces enemies and deals 500 damage. And then it uh, rage flip. So it flips it over the top of you. Like there it is. It's not open yet. It's not open until 59. Add a change of the spear to throw the enemy hit behind you and slow them. And I, don't, I just don't think we're going to need that. I think we're going to be better off. With ignore pain. Right? There we go, iron eye. I don't need to hit red. There we go. Not enough monsters, not doing enough damage to keep. Oh, I know what I forgot to do. I forgot my passives. Oh, come on. Pick that crud up. Reusable parts. Okay, let's. Passives. On this build are Rampage. Whoops. Which I don't think is open yet. Yeah, Rampage is not open yet. The next next one is Boon of Bolkathos. I'm pretty sure is open. Well, maybe not. Nope, not open yet either. 
Berserk Rage. And Ruthless. There it is. Remember, right, there's one of these helps you generate that one, Unforgiven. <laughs> Not open yet. We'll go with Tough as Nails for now. Yeah. Little man's telling me all about it over there. So we're already at 60 here. So as we get closer to 70, not only do the monsters, you know, it takes more and more XP to go up and the monsters get tougher. So.
I never haven't really read. You with generates activating wrath of the berserker consumes fifty six. That got us to 63. Oh, I forgot to get the... Forgot to uh, gamble for the lamentation. Now I'm going to have to roll for it. That got us to 64. Sovereign Mighty Belt. And then the bracer we're going to eventually need is Martik's Bracer. Wrath of the Berserker gains all effects. Seems like there's only so many lamentation right off the bat. I'm going to put that first one in the cube. And equip it because Ren now stacks up to two times on an enemy and the damage of rend is increased by 150%. So, yeah, that's more of a damage creator than Mantles of Chanley. And then I'll upgrade to see if I can get one to wear later. See if I can get another one here. Spoiled Champion. Pride of Cassius, that's good for the IP. And I'm going to save that for later when I make a Z-Barb. Five seconds, that's max, too. Doesn't really matter if it's ancient or not, as long as it's maxed out at five seconds. And it's really like it. Missing ingredients. Holy schmoly. I was going to try and make some bracers, but apparently I will not be. those in there for now I'll gamble for some bracers see if I can get more takes for when I'm 70 promise glory all right oop that was them I think, I think, yep, there's my Mortex Bracers. Right on, Wrath of Berserker games the effects of every rune. Which I'm probably going to get more out of that than I will the knockbacks. Although the, the knockbacks, that, uh, I get that for every time I stomp. 
So. Okay. It's good for hunting time. Uh, and we can put bloodbath on that now. Sanity. Okay. And now we're just to seventy to get get our last passive. Got lamentation. All right. Might keep that in there. And then when I get to 70, put one of these Pride of Cassius on so I can get increased duration of my uh, Ignore Pain of my IP. Pop one more of these. Get my shouts going. Well, I don't need to be holding the X down all the time. That's probably... Okay. Let's check skills. Let's move... That lasts for two minutes. Okay, let's put that on oh, it's on cool down. Doodly do doodly do. Let's go back to town. I think I realized. Oh. Let's see if I can put an obsidian on yet. I think I put the other. Yeah, no, I have. It's it's a level seventy. Yeah. Uh, uh, I just realized something silly I done. All right, I should be able to change this now.
There we go. Aha! My fury is staying up. I... They're playing drums in there. All right, we're almost to 70. Then I can probably take a pause on this video. I'll come back and uh, try and put gear together for it in a little bit. But the main part of this is to get to 70. Ooh. Normally, you use an obsidian ring of the zodiac on this build, too, because Whirlwind is a spender, and thusly, every time you hit somebody with it, it takes a second off your cooldowns. And I had forgotten that I have a ring of grandeur that is currently on my wizard, it's a pretty good one, and I uh inadvertently left it on my wizard. It's the one that I put the level one that are removed uh, level restrictions on, right? Turned it into a level one. I forgot to grab it. Oh, well, maybe I'll remember on the next character I'm leveling up. Which I think will probably be a demon hunter. Sixty-nine, almost to seventy here. Oh, we're full up of gear. Forgot to unburden myself. Can't even pick up rings. Or is that all right? There's 70.
kill off these guys. Come on. Jesus. Just want to clear the area out so I can open the chest and pick up the stuff from the uh, Rift Guardian. Yeah. No, you don't need to climb up there and look out the window. Yeah. All right, go back to town, get rid of my yellow stuff. Yeah. Almost tempted to go back and pick up all a bunch of the other stuff I couldn't pick up because I was full. Just so I have the crafting material. All right, head back to town. I'm so used to be the B buddy button being like dashing strike or. Or teleport or spirit walk or anything that makes you move faster. I keep forgetting I don't have it. All right. So that's uh, from 1 to 70. Um, I've been taking this an hour. And a, good, and a good portion of that time was going over how to get your two main weapons. How to gamble for them. And just stupid stuff. Equipping putting gems and stuff, and then it, didn't it doesn't take very long. All right. Um, I'll come back to this in a little bit. I need to feed the ground babies their lunch, and then I'll come back and start working on getting the rest of the, uh, the build, the actual gear for this. Um, I'm probably going to have to... Yeah, get a bunch of... Uh, gray pieces and convert veiled crystal and arcane dust to reusable parts and I will and start running Nephis or GRs so I can start gambling for like gloves and upgrading them For set pieces. Pull the earth. Gladiator gun, and then I'm out of reusable parts. I have no idea what they're on about in there, but they're having fun with it. All right. So, thank you for watching this. If you enjoy the gun, content here at Darth Grumpy Dad, jump over to YouTube